Well, by saying nothing, certainly at the moment, they've been braced for this. The publishers have promised unflinching honesty, but I don't think perhaps anyone in the family expected Harry to go this far. His memoir has very raw revelations. He exposes these incredibly private moments, including very personal conversations. And like I say, I don't think people had been prepared for this level of intimate detail. We've had no comment from Buckingham Palace or Kensington Palace, which runs the office of the Prince and Princess of Wales, but you perhaps wonder whether they can hold their silence for much longer, given the personal nature of some of the revelations. You might remember after the Oprah Winfrey interview, after the six hours of that Netflix docuseries, Harry made lots of accusations but didn't really name names. And this time he does, which is what makes his memoir a different beast altogether. I think the royal family will be hoping by keeping quiet, by saying absolutely nothing, this will all blow over. But Harry really isn't holding back in this book. And on the one hand, you can see how he really has struggled. And there is obviously a huge amount of sympathy. He was so young when he lost his mother. But you also see the struggle growing up, realising that William, his older brother, was simply more important. He was the heir, Harry, just the spare. And so on the other side, you have this picture of a prince with this hugely privileged platform, unable to accept the rules, to accept the responsibility that came with his role within the royal family. And we again hear another trailer for the ITV interview, which takes place over the weekend, Harry talking about a red mist. Uh, that he had, that his brother William also has, particularly when it came to that kitchen fight. I think the damage for William is by far the worst. And of course, there are four of these television interviews to come out in the coming days. And I think every time Harry opens his mouth, every time he gives one of these interviews, the rift between him and the royal family, and particularly between him and Prince William, widens. And as it widens, it takes away and drifts further that any hope of a reconciliation between Harry and his wider family. Thanks very much indeed.